Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, this time yesterday, of course, it was already snowing at a pretty good clip, uh, much quieter this evening. We're looking, of course, at Newport and the Newport Pell Bridge, mainly cloudy, uh, slick early this morning, but uh, better this afternoon, getting above freezing. We've had a couple of sprinkles this afternoon, nothing more than that, but we'll keep the threat tracker elevated overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning. That's not to say that we have a, another storm coming. This is more of a kind of a heads up as far as the potential for some slippery travel. So overnight tonight, not so much now or this evening, but later Tonight, some damp areas refreezing. Typical just after a snowstorm, you get some refreeze and a little bit of black ice, but also some snow showers and flurries late at night and early in the morning. And it wouldn't surprise me if it actually kind of coats or dusts the ground in some spots. I'm not talking snow shovels and plows or that kind of a deal. And that'll extend through early tomorrow morning. Cloudy skies on the satellite loop. We've got this persistent northeasterly wind. It's bringing in some sprinkles, but especially southeastern mass overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning. Some snow showers, light, very light, and some flurries. But a few of them will spill over. Over into our area in Rhode Island uh, overnight into early tomorrow morning. So again, it's not due to a storm, but just a northeast wind transporting moisture off the ocean. Of course, keeping the cloud cover locked in all day. Speaking of storms, and this one will be a, a huge, powerful storm that'll be developing, but the track takes it. We've been saying this all along, well to our south and out to sea, so it's a miss for us. But it does play some factor in our forecast as it intensifies in the North Atlantic. What it's going to do is increase the wind here beginning tomorrow night. It's going to draw a upon very cold air. You don't see it on the map. It's over the border way up there in Canada. That's going to break loose and arrive here later tomorrow night, especially Friday and Saturday. If you thought last weekend was cold, it's even colder with this next shot of frigid air on the way. I'll show you that in the seven-day forecast. This evening and overnight, we are mainly cloudy. Now, watch what happens uh, during the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning. There's moisture off the ocean every now and then, some flurries and some snow showers. This is six in the morning. Temperatures are just below freezing. There could be a dusting or a coating in spots, nothing more than that. But Sometimes that's all it takes to make the roads slippery. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, it's, it's mainly dry, mostly cloudy. We'll start to see some breaks of sunshine, partial, but probably not until late day, early evening. And you see the clearing taking place tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. The wind picking up, the temperature dropping, and the wind chills later tomorrow night going below zero. All right, as far as snowfall, and again, we're showing this because it's a mere dusting, uh, but that potential is there early, uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, especially in southeastern Massachusetts, and that may create some slippery spots. So if you're Thursday morning, especially early on with temperatures near freezing, maybe a lingering snow shower, just kind of take it slow, and then mainly cloudy the rest of the morning. We do get into the middle 30s during the afternoon hours. It's mainly cloudy. I don't see too many issues uh, tomorrow afternoon. The wind picking up a little bit, so breezy. Temperatures topping out in the uh, lower to middle 30s. These numbers will seem warm compared to what's on tap later tomorrow night and into uh, Friday and Saturday. Here's another hour by hour look at how the break, how the day breaks down uh, for your Thursday with those little gusty breezes in the afternoon. Seven day forecast, frigid, windy Friday and Saturday. I mean, look at the feel like temperatures Friday night, wake up time on Saturday morning, 10 to 15 degrees below zero. So more than likely, there's going to be some sort of a wind chill advisory issued uh, Friday night and into the weekend. Weekend is cold and dry. All right, this is interesting. Stay tuned. A lot of our computer guidance still pointing to a potential for another coastal storm with some uh, snow and rain Monday and Tuesday. So we'll watch that very closely with temps in the mid-30s. Boy, that is a very active seven-day forecast. You can always stay on top of it. Easy. WPRI.com. Mike and Shannon. Tony, thank you. More coverage.